Thank you, Madam Chair, and thanks for having this hearing and for your work on data security. Uh, I'm going to take advantage of this panel's very impressive expertise to talk a little bit about a topic we discussed yesterday in this room with Francis Haugen, the whistleblower in uh, the Facebook documents. Uh, she spoke very powerfully and compellingly about the role that algorithms play in pushing harmful content on children. And obviously, the algorithms use data, so it's not completely unrelated. Uh, she is a data scientist and engineer with an MBA from Harvard, and she spent years working on algorithms, and her observation was that the Facebook algorithm is a kind of black box, that's my word, not hers, because nobody outside Facebook knows how it works. And we conducted an experiment, my office did, creating a 13-year-old girl on Instagram who expressed interest in weight loss and dieting and eating disorders, and she was flooded within 24 hours with accounts relating or recommendations for them to eating disorders, self-injury, and so forth. So algorithms obviously have a powerful part to play on Instagram and Facebook and social media. Uh, we're going to pursue this issue. I'm drafting legislation on it. Uh, one of her recommendations was that there be more transparency, more disclosure about how algorithms work, more oversight into this aspect of the internet. Uh, so my question to you, uh, Professor Felton, is, and to others who want to make observations, what should we be asking of Facebook to tell us about their algorithms? What specific should we be demanding of them? Sure. Um, so an algorithm like Facebook's is extraordinarily complex. Um, I think the conceptual handles one can get on it are maybe three things. One is which data go into the algorithm. What is it using? Um, and, um, and then any issues around accuracy or nature of that data. That's number one. Uh, I think number two is what is it that the algorithm is trying to optimize or maximize? These machine learning algorithms are all trying to maximize some metric or measure of something. With Facebook, it's maybe something like engagement, how often people click or time they spend on the site. Um, uh, and then um, what are they doing to understand the consequences? Um, the con it's not simple to understand the consequences of one of these complex algorithms in operation. But companies are constantly monitoring, measuring, evaluating uh, how these things go and getting a picture into what they're seeing internally on their dashboards or reports seems quite important for understanding what's going on. I'm assuming you would agree that algorithms can be made safer in terms of protecting children and protecting data. Absolutely. Would you have specific recommendations based on what you know about Facebook or Instagram's algorithms on what they should be doing? Uh, with respect to children, the obvious first question is, should children be interacting with these um, technologies at all or interacting as part of the same broad system that adults are? Um, in addition, I think the companies have at least an ethical responsibility to uh, take special pains to understand how what they're doing impacts children. What are the behaviors of children on this site? Um, uh, because. Um, it's very difficult for anyone else, such as parents, to, uh, to really govern this behavior if the company is not there taking basic precautions. Parents don't have the ability to change the algorithm, do they? No, all they can do is look over their kids' shoulders or cut them off entirely. And in fact, uh, my guess is that most parents have no idea what, it, what an algorithm is or what its effect is on their children. Even I. Even I um, as, a, as a parent of a once uh, young child, didn't really understand what these algorithms would be doing to my child. It's a lot of guesswork. So a good place to start for Congress might well be to require greater disclosure and transparency about algorithms. And 
if we were to establish, for example, an oversight board, it would be the work of that board to enforce greater safety to protect children. I think understanding is a first step, and then uh, thinking about how, how to govern these algorithms is extraordinarily difficult but important. But if Mark Zuckerberg's really serious about transparency, he would provide more disclosure about his algorithms. Correct? There is certainly more they could do in terms of disclosure. Yes. Thank you. Can I just so, add that I don't think it would be very useful for the disclosure to be to consumers. Because I don't think, in the same way consumers don't read privacy policies, they're not going to look at all this programming and figure out how the algorithm works. So if there's going to be oversight, I think it should be a con congressional oversight or um, agency oversight, but not disclosures to consumers, unless it's a you're able to boil it down to something consumers can really understand. In the same way that the FDA regulates drugs or tobacco, for example, you'd need some kind of oversight agency that had that specialized knowledge. If Congress wants to regulate this, um, it, it needs to do more than have it be an ethical obligation. Yes, to, there needs to be some structure in place. Yes. Thank you. Access to this data and information by independent researchers who truly are experts is also valuable. Very good point. Thank you. Senator Moran. Uh, Chairman, thank you. Uh, please take note of my indulgence and remember that. Uh, I'm pleased to be here and appreciate this panel and this topic of conversation.